in your bag. And um, also today we have lots of nice presentations. We've got some innovative presentations from Wi-Fi airship targets and thermal masks, etc. And we have some presentations from Red Wolf, Gunvar, uh, Falcon has arrived. Also Tipman will have a presentation. Um, well, glad to be here. Uh, glad to be here and also welcome to Eric, Eric from Bow Manufacture. Uh, also, the innovation we hope to see is here the Bow Manufacture electromagnetic blue box. Um, I hope you can tell us all about it. Uh, curious, curious. All right, thank you, Stage. All yours. Um. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm Eric Gucci. I'm the founder of Blue Manufacture and uh, another company called Magneto Research. And uh, uh, very quickly, I know most of them, but not everybody. And I've been in the industry for the last 20 years in different companies. And uh, 20 years, uh, 15, 11 years in the US. And now I'm going to return set up Blue Manufacture. The idea was to create a brand. But beyond that, because it says manufacturer, we wanted to see US manufacturer. Because as you see, as you all know, airsoft is mostly based in Asia. And if you want to do something in Europe, you should do not you know, innovative pricing will be very difficult to follow and to have a, a proper offering for the market. So uh, I realized when we started doing manufacturer that the main problem, I said Houston, yeah, the Houston web problem. The, problem that I think we all share in, a, in the ESO business is um, um, customer satisfaction. Uh, we can see everywhere that most that most important problem beyond pricing, beyond promotion, beyond anything else is there's more and more players and they say less and less time in ESO because they're tired of what we are offering in terms of quality, in terms of standards and performance. If you compare with BMW, like, <laughs> it's funny because I had that car a long time ago. In 91, uh, BMW was making that car, and today they make that car. In 91, Apple was making that computer, and today they make that. In 91, yes, it was making that, and today we make that. So honestly, the client experience, the client experience that we're offering to the public is the 50s standards. So big cars, but Okay, we don't want this kind of product. And obviously this is a plan satisfaction. Uh, who wants to buy a car that would break after 13,000 miles? Uh, well, maybe that girl, I'm not sure, but... Uh, we have to work on bringing back happiness to the clients. I think all of us, uh, I don't say that I will do, I will have a solution for everything, but at least is what we wanted to, uh, wanted to achieve when we developed this technology. And we started three, Three years ago, but really two years ago, we really pushed the envelope to find a new way to approach the market beyond only your technology, beyond performance. So what we need to find is something that is modern, smart, and sexy. Obviously, smart, sexy, and modern. Sexy, modern, and smart. I'm not sure she's very smart, but she's very sexy and modern. That's for sure. Well, that is the MTO Phantom, the first one. This is the outside of what would be the MTO Phantom. It's very uh, classic in a sense. We will have two models. We have a classic uh, tactical, uh, tactical sports shooter uh, civilian series like this, and we will have a military version. We've seen, maybe you've, you've seen this video online already. Well, there's no sound, but. Uh, the, what we did, we used the local, uh, the eco we don't have an ecosystem, as of ecosystem in France. We all know that. We don't have, uh, but we have a very strong ecosystem in Bordeaux where we are to build fight fighter jets, to build space programs and stuff like this. In south part of France, there's a lot of engineers, a lot of companies working on this. And uh, we decided to solve one first problem that we had in Airsoft is reliability and you can spend any time of money on, uh, on an airsoft gun and 
you go to the, to the game on the weekend and you still don't know if it will work or not. And that's a big problem for us. So we will have to work on this. So we use uh, a local company to really stress test uh, our system. And uh, when I say one million shots, we went even beyond that on the system. We're meaning that obviously I'm sure we'll have problems in the future with electronics and different things. <laughs> but at least the system itself, we stressed three million shots before it broke. So we are in something very, very different than what was done before. Uh, one of the key uh, things that we have also beyond um, uh, reliability is uh, uh, the trigger response. The trigger response, if you check right now the human perception on motions, the fastest you can get is 15 millisecond. 15 to 30 millisecond. On the MTO uh, trigger response, uh, with the, you can see there's no motor, and uh, you can see some of it, yeah, okay. We got three minutes again. Okay, so it's one of the key factors we bring beyond reliability is cannot be faster than HPA. I can see people say, oh, HPA. HPA is a um, again, what we bring, we don't want to replace anything. Right? Well, uh, our mission is to bring something new, bring new gaming experience, and HPA is obviously like paintball, it's like an open world, so you cannot go faster than that. Okay? So we bring just something different, the trigger response, but I would say the, the how many rounds per second, it could be maybe 25 rounds per second, we don't try to go crazy about the one per second, but more the trigger response and the feelings. And what is more important than anything else, as you can see the trigger, the old system is completely new. So the trigger, the adjustment trigger, the type of trigger, the, the feeling on triggers, we can, we can really develop a lot of different applications only because it's a completely new system. Plus, because we built Intel in that, obviously the next generation will, will have communication, we will create connected items. Um, this is something interesting too. Dynamic airflow. The when we produce 100% of the air inside the system, okay, we lose only 3%. So the whole system is completely. Uh, we don't lose any energy, any air. We compress air, and we lose only 3% of the air we produce. That is, uh, you can see there's two wires. Uh, one wire, the, the one on the on the on the, the one going down, is actually going to the computer. So we program the power. It's the same system for all the countries, and we program the power base on the territory. And obviously, the next generation in the future, I don't know exactly when, but pretty soon, we'll be able to have uh, different type of application we can enter in smartphones and and the, and, the, and the system. Uh, with these systems, the consumption is 10 times less than AEGs. So if you put a, a, a LiPo, you get some tests, you can last one week playing, and uh, you don't have to recharge the battery. Because there's no mechanical system, it's just a system inside which is floating, and no ceiling system either. So it's dynamic airflow, the old system is based on speed. So obviously there's no ceiling needs. Um, the, um, uh, what we want to achieve here is we are going beyond airsoft. I mean, to tell you the truth, the, we already have developments in air guns and other things because this technology is it's just crazy. I mean, we've been lucky. Okay? We made some research, we put some great team together, but at the end of the day, we've been very lucky and we can have very strong applications in. Uh, Heavy on spinball, 
firearms because power is just unbelievable. Uh, I will give you one data that we just uh, test. We put a 5.5 on it and we could shoot at 100 joule. Okay? So, obviously, it's a different system. We will not have the same materials inside. So, airsoft, if the guy acts the system, he cannot shoot on a jewel. Okay? It will be different. <laughs> we don't want any, 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 any trouble. But, the whole idea is to bring new, a complete MTO shooting experience through uh, airsoft, air guns, and other things. And it's just different. So what we hope is to bring something new to the table, bring something new to the user and new to the market. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people will come today and present other things, and it's great because we all need innovations to bring airsoft from the 50s to the 21st century with a lot of great stuff and, uh, and not being linked to the uh, all standards where people come and, and buy a, a, a new iPhone and they come to a, AG and it breaks after two hours of gaming. So we really have to, I believe, work a lot on this type of things. Uh, last, thing, last point is this, the MT Workshop Factory. We want to uh, give opportunity to people to purchase our products, but I think we will open also with some other uh, companies and, and, and cooperation we can do, is to give opportunity for people to convert from AG to our system. And uh, originally we will have a, a separate uh, uh, company. I mean, at the factory we will do the, the job. So the user can buy products from you and send products to us and we will modify to MTO. So we don't want something very close. We want something open to people to have the opportunity to have a scalable uh, uh, experience. This is, I know it's frustrating you know, for me and because I had a prototype that uh, I wanted to bring. But uh, this is the only thing I can show you today. The release date is uh, May 2016 for the final gun and uh, for the airsoft version. And the air gun is will be late in 2016. So that's sorry, I'm sorry, but that's all I can say for the next Thank you, uh, thank you, Eric, for uh, sharing with us. Um, wait a moment, perhaps people might have a question about the, about the new product. I don't know. Is there anyone in, who's interested in, in more details, or you already know what the release date is? That's nice. Nobody? This is just a chance. What's good? Oh, there you go. Paul. Wait, what is the expected price point? Um, the, the target price would be uh, in Europe. In, uh, in Euro, it would be between 650 and 750 for the whole game. All questions? Yeah. Uh, what power settings can be achieved? The power? Yes. The power? The the airsoft configuration, we want the gearbox to go uh, until three, uh, three joule for airsoft, but the, to make sure that it not break easily, but it will some parts will break after three joule for the airsoft, and for the uh, as I said for air guns, uh, for the moment it's really prototyping stuff, but we made uh, five point five at uh, one hundred joule, one hundred joule. So um, one of the key factor also for firearms, because we, we should talk about firearms, one of the factors for firearms is uh, there's no recoil. So I'm sure that you understand that language. And um, we're very, very pleased because you, we all know that the airsoft for many, and I've been in this business for more than 20 years, so we, it was many parties at night or dinners and say, okay, you're working in SO. Okay, well, what is your job? No, I'm working in SO. You mean, wait, wait, you have a job? Like SO. <laughs> so, we always, people, for a long time, they don't consider SO as something serious. And we have one ambition, among others, is
to prove that a national company can do not a replica of firearms, cheaper, but to impact the whole shooting industry. And it's really the ambition we have. So I know we don't know what I'm talking about. So it's exactly what we want to do. And then able to, with this technology, to have our own design and to get, to get a new power to this industry. And then, again, we don't want to replace, we don't want to replace anybody, we don't want to get only us. We want to give some input, and you're welcome to do whatever you want. And we all push airsoft and all the shooting games in something very, very cool. So that's the point of my point. Okay, thank you, Eric.